So I've been waiting forever to get my hands on the Quickset SC1, the smart key. I just got two. Uh, I've been trying to get these forever. People say they have them in stock. They don't have them in stock. I got a supplier out of Florida. Thank you very much. Uh, they sent me two locks. I just took them and I got the cameraman here and everything. I took one out of the box and said, I'm going to throw one on there and I'll do an unboxing. Out of the box. It does not work. Out of the box. So we'll have to reset this one. And the keys to the other one. So I didn't get it mixed up. So out of the box, the, the, it doesn't work. And this doesn't surprise me at all, but I thought at least getting two, uh, I got more coming. But right out of the box, it doesn't work. So this, uh, this is a great start to this product. Supplier sent me two. I never asked them to check. Everybody says they have them in stock. A few have the displays, uh, but we're going to see more and more of these. So this is the smart key SE1. Out of the box, doesn't work. So here's the, we'll, we'll go with this one. So again, it took me a long time to get these things. Uh, they've announced it a long, long time ago. And there we go. So out of the box, what do we got? The usual. Smart key, SC1 keyway, use the D. So, and in the kit, set two from two and three eighths to two and three quarters. That's the most common. We can change the plate. There's an assortment of various, uh, we can do a drive-in latch, whatever. D style, it's turning. The key turns. So both keys will turn on that. And I'll take this one out of here. And it doesn't work. So, leave that in there. I'm going to install this on here, above it, and we'll play with it. Wait a sec. I'm not impressed. This, the little tailpiece wants to fall off. So I have one that doesn't work. One the tailpiece wants to fall off out of the box. I just try to get the screws in here. Yeah, let's just get them started. Okay, I'm done. So this one works. So what I'm going to do here, put the key in, it's pretty hard to install wrong. So it takes the SC1 keyway, it's five pin. Now it only goes one to six in the slage, slage depths, it only goes one to six. Slage is schlag. 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 It goes zero to nine. So in theory, uh, you, it reduces, or not in theory, it definitely reduces the amount of changes it can do, how many changes you can have. But we'll see what other potential flaws it has. So I'm going to change it real quick. It's similar to the, the way it's, oh, the, the, uh, the quick set KW1 keyway. So basically, you put the key in, have the slot up. You can hear an audible click. This is the uh, change, the tool to give. You can just barely hear the click. Now you gotta pull the key straight out. Don't twist it, don't turn it. Now I'm gonna take the key on this one and just try it here. You put the key in. So there we go. Very, very easy to re-key. And see, the old key doesn't fit, so. At least the, the key doesn't fit down here, it doesn't turn, so nothing wrong with the key. So again, to I'll set it back to the factory original. I just put it, the slot up. You can sometimes hear the little click. I didn't hear anything that time. Pull the key out. Here's the original key that came out of the box. And there we go. Extremely simple, quick to change. Now let's try something a little bit different here. Uh, this is the first time trying it. We're going to do this right on camera. So I cut a uh, slage key. Schlag. 
69768, which is not within the tolerances. This thing can only go from one to six. I got 69768. Let's say the customer's got a key. I want it to fit this lock. Let's put it in. Let's see if we can hear the click. Go slot to the top. Again, don't hear anything. But the key comes out. Here is an SC1 key. And look at this. Now this is going to be important. Let's see if it does. First time doing it. Never even tried this yet. I just got these. So I've gone outside of the one to six that they recommend. I got a six, nine, seven, six, eight. That's the depth. Now, in theory, a six, six, six or a nine, nine, nine will fit this theoretically. So let's throw in the six, six, six key. And let's see if it works. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. I thought it may default to six spacing. Let's throw in the nine. This is a bump key, 999, and it doesn't work. But I still got to play with this. I think there's a sweet spot that I don't know yet, and I'm going to play with it. So it will rekey outside of what it's allowed to go. But I think that's probably created another little problem. So I thought maybe a 999 bump key or a 666 may fit it. But I'm going to experiment with a whole pile of different keys. I think there's a flaw in there. It did key outside, which is surprisingly. So let's see if now can I key it back to factory. So there's that. Let's just uh, reset it. And will it reset to factory? And it does. Let's check the old key. We'll see what happens. We're going to experiment a little bit more. First time pulling them out of the box. I got two and only two. This one out of the box doesn't work. This one works. And we rekeyed it. No problem at all. And we even keyed it to, in theory, what it shouldn't rekey to. And it did. And let's see if this has created some other problems internally. So I hope you enjoyed the first unboxing of the lock. I'm uh, going to be playing with this quite a bit. There's more videos to come. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and you're going to see way more videos on this. And we'll uh, have some other defeat methods coming up uh, that we're working on. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.